Hello, and thank you for joining me on this video. Um, so just about an hour ago, the Supreme Court ruled 6-3 to three on Tuesday that the Constitution forbids police from holding a suspect without probable cause even for fewer than 10 extra minutes. Um, <clears throat> writing on behalf of... Um, uh, my source here is actually thehill.com. Writing on behalf of the court, Ju Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg declared that the Constitution protects against a reasonable search and seizure prevent police from extending the otherwise completed traffic stop to allow for a drug sniffing dog to arrive. And quote, We hold that a police stop exceeding the time needed to handle the matter for which the time was made violates the Constitution's shield against unreasonable seizures, she ruled. The case was Rodriguez versus United States was brought by a man who was pulled over for driving on the shoulder of a Nebraska highway. After the police pulled him over and checked his license and issued a warning for his erratic driver driving, the officer asked whether he could walk his drug-sniffing dog around the vehicle. The uh, driver refused. However, the officer nonetheless detained him for seven or eight minutes until a backup officer arrived with a dog of his own. After sniffing around the car, the dog detected drugs, and Rodriguez was indicted for possessing methamphetamine. Now, in all, the stop lasted less than 30 minutes. According to the Supreme Court, though, the search of Rodriguez's car was illegal, and the evidence gathered in it should not be used at the trial. While officers may use a drug, sniff, a drug dog to uh, sniff around the car during the course of a routine traffic stop, they cannot extend the length of the stop in order to carry it out. In other words, the cops can't sit there and waste your time. I mean, if they know that you've got something in the car, that changes the matter. But if they stop you for, say, running a stop sign and then just turn around and be like, we're going to bring the drug dog now that you've ran a stop sign, that's totally illegal. Um, Justice Clarence Thomas, uh, Samuel Alito, and Anthony Kennedy disagree with the ruling, arguing that police can reasonably detain people to investigate other possible violations of the law. The tolerable duration of police inqui inquiries in the traffic stop context is determined by the seizure's mission. To address the traffic violation that warranted the stop, Ginsburg ruled, authority for the seizure thus ends when the task tied to the traffic infractions are or reasonably should have been completed. In his dissenting opinion, Thomas said that the majority's ruling makes Meaningless, the legal difference between reasonable suspicion, which does not authorize a search of someone's property, and probable cause, which does. Had Officer uh, Strubble arrested, handcuffed, and taken Rodriguez to the police station for his traffic violation, he would have compl complied with the uh, Fourth Amendment, he wrote in the majority's argument. But, because he made Rodriguez wait for seven or eight extra minutes until a dog arrived, he evidently committed a constitutional violation, such as the view of the Fourth Amendment makes a little sense. So, anyway guys, this ruling just came down just a little over an hour ago, and now, if a cop tries to detain you and wants to search your vehicle or do anything outside of the traffic stop and tries to uh, consume more of your time, which, you know, this is the real problem here. Cops just like to waste people's time at a traffic stop. And, um, you know, now, the law is on the uh, side of the people. So when they stop you for speeding or uh, run a stop sign or any of this other stuff, they, c they can't detain you and just waste time over frivolous matters. Now, of course, this driver here was caught with a dangerous and highly addictive, awful drug. But nonetheless, his rights were violated. So, you know, it's, it's on the police officers to uh, make a good solid case and make it based on what the law allows them to do. When they step outside the law, they're no better than the person that's breaking it. So here we have at least that the uh, court system is attempting to hold up our constitutional rights. So, anyway, um, you can find this, like I said, on thehill.com. And uh, I'll place a link I'll place a link for it right there in the description of the video so that you can read it as well. Um, thanks so much for watching my videos, and you all have a great day. Praise the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.